Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. Car, we have protection. So you guys are highly protected. And Spirit says, not only are you highly protected by the divine, by the universe, but they're also wanting you to make sure that you're protecting your energy. So protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Yeah, security, guard, and vulnerable. We have aligned here. Yeah, aligned with your higher self. So some of you guys are just like being very, or there's a need to be more protective of your energy. Some of you guys are already in the energy where you're being protective, really protective about who you let have around you what you're engaging in, what you're listening to, things like that, um, because you don't want anybody to knock you out of alignment, okay? Because I do see that you guys are very much in alignment at this time. We have confusion here. Meet certainty. There could be somebody here. Timing. The situation can't be forced. Confusion. So there could be a situation that you're like not really sure what the hell is going on when, in regards to it right now. But Sphere says that in divine timing, I feel I want you to be patient because I think that that situation is going to resolve itself or become clear as time goes on, okay? Let's see. We have planning phase, okay? So it says, take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward so you may turn your goals into reality. And finances, some of you guys are very focused on like uh, um, manifesting something in regards to career and finances. Some of you guys are more focused on money and career. And Spirit says that's exactly what they wanted you to be doing or that's what you were supposed to be doing at this time or that is what you're supposed to be doing. We have love offer. Mm. So you guys could be receiving a love offer from somebody. But you guys, there is like a level of like uncertainty around this offer. Like you don't know if you can trust this offer from this person. Yeah, we have celebration here though. This is a great time in your life. Things are progressing with grace and ease like, like never before. And it says ready to give. So there's somebody here. If you're confused about a love situation, Spirit says that the situation can't be forced and in the right timing. It's out of your control and in the right timing. There's somebody that's going to be coming in. Like either you have somebody coming in that is going, it's going to be a very balanced connection or things are going to balance out between you and somebody that you already know. All right. Um, let's get a few more. We have pros and cons. Weighing the pros and cons of what? Inner warrior. Channel your inner strength and subdue and subtly control the issues at hand. Trust your power. Strength, courage, and confidence. It's almost like the ball is in your court in some type of situation or will be. Like, I see like there will be something offered to you. And I feel like you're going to be taking time to really decide, like, weigh the pros and cons of the situation. Or, yeah, like, something is going to be, the, the ball is going to be in your court or, like, the situation is going to be in your hands, even if it isn't already. I just see there being a period of, like, you just really trying to figure out what it is that you want. Do you want this offer? Do you want something else? Do you want to focus on money and career? Somebody's taking time to really decide what it is that they want. What does that mean for my collective? We have breakthrough, so... If there had this has already been happening where there's like been a period of stagnation and there's really just been nothing happening, like there, you know, you've been just thinking about what you want, somebody else is possibly thinking about what they want. There is gonna be like a breakthrough here. It says a significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through is preparing you for the, this big break. We have guarded. It says needing time to feel secured, cautious, wary, protected, holding back, watching. So yeah, it's like there's somebody here who you don't feel safe with or you don't know if you can trust this person. So I see that you've been holding back from this person. Maybe somebody is also very guarded because they needed to heal from some things that maybe had nothing to do with you or nothing to do with whoever this person is. Could have been things that happened before you met this person or things that happened before they met you. But I see an apology in, okay, and I do see ascension here. So it says you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality time to sort of new heights. So I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to possibly like take something to the next level with somebody. This does look like somebody that you already know um, that's coming in to try to make amends with you. Um, but I definitely see that you guys are going to be guarded. So I see somebody coming in saying like, look, I want us to be together. I want us to have something balanced. I want us to build a solid foundation. This is what I want. And I feel like you guys are going to be like, I don't know. Or you're going to be like, I didn't take some time to think about this. So that's what I kind of see here. But you will have the opportunity to take something to the next level with this person. And I do see you getting an apology from somebody. So what is up with this finances and career aspect here? We have communication. So some of you guys can be getting communication in regards to career and finances. Let's see, communication and bad gossip. Ooh, you guys have some people 
It says, be open to receiving messages right now. It's important to communicate communicate clearly and honestly. Calls, texts, expression, and answers. There are people, like, talking shit about you in regards to career and finances. Why? Are there, yeah, golden moment? Because it looks like a blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very happy. So what's that do with bad gossip? Somebody is, this is giving jealous. Because why would somebody be talking bad badly about you being happy about you being abundant you being com like living comfortably that that can only be jealousy and bitterness so just know that that's why they're telling you to protect your energy because you have a lot of abundance coming in towards you and you possibly even have like a commitment coming in like you're going to be entering a period of life where you're going to be getting a lot of like everything that you want like you're going to be like having the relationship you're going to have the the money the career the family, all that. And there are going to be some people that are going to be talking shit about you behind your back or talking about you like in a not so great way because they see you living this lifestyle and it looks like they're jealous. We have creative. So it says it's space to keep an open mind. Okay, what is up with that? Creative. We have good choices. Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. So keeping an open mind um is going to lead to some type of payoff here or it's like there's something about like some of you guys have a creative ability that's gonna start paying off for you give me a few more we have superior yeah and epiphany the answers will come revelation discovery vision realization of what become a leader in the situation speak and act with authority set your boundaries and know your limits we have prelude. You may feel not much is happening. Yeah, didn't I say that you may feel like things are stagnant? However, the path you're on is leading you to something great. You guys are going to end up being like a boss. There, there may be some people that are jealous of you because they see you doing better than them in work. Or you like are able to like reach a higher position in a, a workplace than them. Or something like that. Like just say so like there's going to be people that are jealous because you got promoted and they didn't. Or they you got promoted to a, being a manager. Or you're the manager or the team leader or whatever. And they are. They don't have that position. There's there's something here about people being jealous. What is this epiphany though? Independent. Some of you guys are going to be making the decision to kind of just be self-employed. Or there's a need to. For those of you that already are getting that itch to be self-employed. You're, you're getting that feeling. For a reason, okay? Um, yes, it's a time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you. There's going to be some people that, are, that feel some type of way because they don't have the courage and the strength or the leadership qualities or the, how do you say that? The, the business skills or whatever I'm trying to say to be able to go out on their own and be self-employed and be successful but they're going to be able to see you go out be your own boss make your own money and they're going to and be very successful at that and people are really it's like people are mad that they don't have the same ability to do what you're going to be able to do but not everybody is meant to be entrepreneurs I mean I feel like everybody has those qualities in them but you know some people are going to be meant to work for another person some people are going to be business owners somebody's going to be some people are going to be freelancers there's literally a place for everybody I don't know but somebody's mad that somebody's going to be feeling some type of way that you're like independent or you're able to go out on your own and make money for yourself and things like that be careful of somebody that's trying to like keep you like indecisive about making the decision to go out on your own and work for yourself too or start that business or pursue that creative venture because they don't because they have their own limitations on themselves they may have the ability to go do that too but they don't have the the confidence or the ability at this time or whatever so they may want to keep you stuck and stagnant stagnant too so yeah Careful not to get trapped between, it could even be a romantic interest. It could be somebody that you were romantically involved with who is intimidated by your independence and how successful you are, like just what you do for work or what you're going to be doing for work and your success. And they're wanting to keep you stuck and stagnant too. Whoever this person is, they need to look in the mirror. Yeah, expect the unexpected. What is this next level? What is What is unexpected that's about to happen here? What's this unexpected energy? Somebody, see? What is this? We have, it's over in resurrection. 
So what you thought to be over for good, actually coming back around and having an opportunity to be resurrected, something being resurrected from the dead. Sometimes there's no next time, no second chances. The relationship is over, failure, too late, opportunity is gone. So that's maybe how you guys viewed the situation. But we have resurrection here. Shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes even more powerful. This is also kind of giving me the vibe of like you were dealing with somebody that thought that they're like that you would be over once they were no longer. If you guys broke up, like you, like you were nothing without them. That's crazy. And they're seeing you be successful without them. Rise from the ashes. Somebody's bitter about that. Oh, well, it could not even be the same person. But we do have rebuilding here. But it's kind of more so giving me the vibe of somebody coming like a situation where you thought it was done and over with having the opportunity to be re resurrected because we do have rebuilding here too and it says start over and rebuild stronger you could even be starting over by yourself and rebuilding stronger and somebody's bitter about this but it says putting in the work second chances personal strength yeah somebody's jealous of your personal strength to be able to to dust your shoulders off <laughs> and move keep it moving and um because i guess that it's harder for them to do that or they don't have the ability to do so we have stop here this love is not for you move on toxic Mmm, silly games. So what is, what about stop? So somebody's wanting to rebuild, but they, we have drama. And we have door to power. Your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring you great blessing. Somebody's mad because you're sticking up for yourself. You're taking a stand. Fiery hot. What about fiery hot? Manifesting and strike somebody's trying to manifest you with sexual energy expect to see some major project progress or somebody has a very intense desire for you here strike and fire within yeah somebody has a, a lot of passion and drive to have to conquer you or to win you back or to have a victory with you what does that mean for whatever so what's that mean for this cleverness yeah, in small steps, handling a situation very carefully, moving very slight, maybe giving something another chance or making a decision to go into something, but moving through it very strategically and carefully. So that may be what you decide to do with this person. Um, what else do they need to know? Let's do some tarot. Something is being resurrected from the dead. We have the nine of cups and maybe this is something that you wished for. This is something that you wanted or you desired. Yeah, look at this. You guys, you have your dream or wish fulfillment relationship manifesting here. It looks like, yeah, six of cups. It doesn't look like it's a new person. It could be a soulmate with the six of cups. It could be a soulmate if it's a new person, but mm, it's not looking like a new person. Yeah, especially with the five of cups here. This is like an energy of somebody that has regrets. This could even be somebody wishing and hoping for a relationship with you that you guys will reunite, but they have regrets. Tell me more. The Ten of Swords. See, somebody betrayed you. There was some type of painful ending. The Three of Cups. Possibly a third party situation, of course. The Ace of Swords. Something came to light or a truth was revealed. Yeah, look at this. The Four of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to reunite with you, but they feel like... If it's not third party, somebody just wants to reunite with you after betraying you in some way. And I feel like a lot of you don't, they, they feel like they're being ignored or they're being rejected or, or they will be. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy in the world. And we have the Eight of Wands. Hold on, I fell on the floor. What about the Queen of Wands, the World, and the Eight of Wands? Maybe this person's starting to realize that you're a missed opportunity or they're about to miss an opportunity. Libra energy with the um the World. I don't know if I said that or not. The Five of Swords and the Queen of Cups. What does that do with anything? <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So what does that do with you? Something's changing. The Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius and Pisces energy. The King of Swords. Their perception. 
Yeah, they're making a decision. The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Somebody can't stop thinking about you. It's like you're you are heavily on somebody's mind. Like somebody is thinking about how well you're doing since the two of you have been apart, how independent you are, how you're just moving up, how you just you you weren't even phased by the fact that they they y'all broke up or whatever happened. Like they somebody is literally bamboozled by the fact that you were able to like get up and heal or move on from whatever happened between the two of you and like move on like nothing happened and now you're even doing even better than you were before it's like somebody cannot stop thinking about this i don't see the devil here but it's like they're low-key like obsessed about it your how, your ability to move on and just do so well for yourself how successful you've been like somebody and it's like making them see things differently yeah the high priestess pisces energy the seven of wands the seven of swords yeah there was some there were things being kept from you or they're maybe trying to like act like they don't they're not feeling this way or it's not bothering them but it is yeah the nine of wands so what yeah they feel like they're being abandoned and left out in the cold this person's trying to work up the courage to come towards you and ask you for another opportunity what did they do though what did they do to the collective the nine of swords they put you through a lot. The problem is this person is that they're low key jealous of you. Like they, they, they're like better about the fact that you're doing so well. Yeah, they cheated. They did something. Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Emperor. This person would maybe even like withdraw from you to like make get the upper hand. Like this person would stress you out. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they would pull back. They would like go silent or whatever. Yeah, they were juggling you. When they were dealing with somebody else, they would they would pull back from you. Wow, well, yeah. So now, why did this person think that that was gonna end you? It's like somebody thought that they were gonna end you when they did what they did, but it's like they thought you actually like level up. After it's like instead of like the things sent to destroy you, it's like fuel for you. It's like an alchemy. Like you have an alchemy about you. I don't know if this person was really trying to destroy you. What was their, what were they trying to do? Because it's just the, the sun, the chariot, the six of pentacles, and the king of wands. Could be an Aries Leo or a Sag you're dealing with. And the three of swords. Why did, so how did it get to the three of swords? Because it looks like this person had good intentions for you. So what went wrong? What went wrong? The ten of wands? They, something, there, something about their perspective changed. That's, okay, what's that to do with my collective though? This person, so what ended up happening too, <laughs> was this person possibly had a choice? Of course they did. They had a choice between two different paths, two different people, or whatever this was. One of the situations was a family situation. That they knew that they would have had to sacrifice to let go of. And I think this person was conflicted about whether or not they wanted to let go of this other situation or not. So I, this person was trying to juggle. That's all I can say. And like this person is literally mad that you were able to let them go and move on from them. Like their ego is bruised by this. It's like this person was trying to maintain some type of control over you while also juggling you. And also like they are playing mega games with you. But it's like they had good intentions. Like, or at first, like they they you do that they do feel like there's a lot of happiness within this connection. They do want to like move something forward with you or progress something with you. And they do want something balanced with you. But they feel like they have there's something else here that they gotta get rid of. And what's the problem? Why are they not making that decision? Why are they not making that decision? Strength, just them needing to find the courage, the strength. The drive. Yeah, it's like this person's very unmotivated. The page of swords. Maybe they felt like they needed to see more. Yeah, they, they maybe felt like they needed to see more from you. Or this person just likes to take their time. Like they just like to do things at a slow pace. Like I think this person wanted to take some time to really see like what the potential of this connection was with you. If it was even worth worth leaving a situation or worth blowing up a situation for. Mm -hmm. but yeah it's this part somebody's definitely better that you've been doing so well like you were able to just move on i don't know what they thought you were going to be like but um what were they expecting let's see
somebody's like trying to strategize how to like get if you have your garment with this person they're trying to strategize how they can get you little to let your guard down what were they expecting from the collective so we have on blast so this person was expecting you to like call them out about something or snack sex appeal physical attraction irresistible desire heart fog mixed emotions but what about on blast though turn party animal sex drugs alcohol including indulging in surface pleasures so this person expects you to call them out about something and they also expect you to kind of like start partying and drinking like doing things to numb yourself i don't know why did they think that what about snack and heart fog sos distress act with urgency assistance needed and trolling intentionally causing upset this person tried to get a certain reaction out of you i'm telling you they tried to do something here they tried to do something to try to get a reaction out of you you're literally like an alch like you're an alchemist and like Yeah, they tried to do something to get you to, like, chase them. Throwing hands. Yeah, this person likes to fight, have arguments. This person, so somebody's mad that you're unbothered. They're mad that you're not trying to fight with them and argue with them. Yeah, unmotivated, procrastinating. Didn't I say this person was lack motivation? What about that? Putting things off, viral, instant fame, going around quickly, gaining popularity. Hook up, fleeing, friends of benefits, and non-committal. Key player, important person, playing an essential role, irreplaceable. So this person feels like they won't be able to replace you. This person feels like you're getting like more and more popular or like more and more important or something like that. Romantic getaway, spending time alone together or spending time together, enjoying one-on-one -on -one time. Okay. So what does that do with anything? receipts oh did somebody find out that so you could have found out this person was dealing with somebody else here evidence guilty as charged and exposed so something was exposed about how either they were spending time with you or they were spending time with somebody else hooking up with somebody else so what does this have to do with my collection though rebound oh thirsty shook shook by what sneaky link what were they shook by? Lipstick evidence and F up. Self limiting, feeling inadequate, feeling failure. Infidelity, caught cheating, betrayal. Who is shocked about that? Light bulb moment, that what? Good vibes, living life to the fullest, enjoying the present. Somebody, <laughs> what the heck, guys? Somebody's realizing that you're living your best life. Like, you're not even worried about what they're doing, like, at all. Like, I don't know. It's weird. What are they realizing? Oh, they may, they feel, they may feel like you have a new person. And that's why you're not, so they're, they were expecting you to possibly react how you've act, reacted in the past. But, like, you're not doing that. So, that makes this person feel like you, you found a new person. Yeah, full of highs and lows, on and off. Yeah, this person is used to you guys having this like on and off again relationship or something like that. It being hot and then cold. Well, you got off the roller coaster ride and they are shook by this. What about dirty money? Siren call, gaining attention, alert by temptation. What is this? There could be somebody around them. If, it's, if they do have a third party, there's somebody that keeps luring them back in, maybe offering them money showing off prideful it, it, there could even be some type of illegal way that this person is getting money let's see inner light soul searching finding true self living consciously what does it do with anything not today somebody this person doesn't want to change with inner light and not today yeah this person is like avoiding doing the inner work doing the soul searching so what again what's that do with you nothing supersize me doing too much excessive overindulgence Okay, this person is like wants you and everybody else and everything else. Yeah, by ooh, laid up cuddle session and cuffing season. Somebody wants to. So now, be careful.
careful with this person because they like to get validation from other people. This person doesn't feel important or worthy unless somebody else is validating them. But I keep seeing this person ready for a relationship on the hunt. Cuddle session, intimate moments, escaping the world together. Long road, delays, trials, and tribulations taken the long way. Yeah, so instead of you guys just, you know, being together and having a normal relationship, this person has been, somebody has been deciding to do things the hard way. Penny pinching. Somebody is, yeah, singing up and glow up. Major transformation and spilling the beans, revealing secrets, cats on the bag that what? Lift off. Fast action progression forward. The wait is over for what? Skirt. Quick getaway, the runner and escaping. This person is thinking that once they get themselves together, after they work on their finances or something like that and do this, go through this transformation, it's like you're dealing with somebody that thought y'all were going to get back together. That's all I can say, guys. It's like somebody thought <laughs> that eventually y'all would end up, like they thought that you guys, you were theirs and vice versa because we have official status this person thought that at some point y'all would be together so <laughs> they're mad they're salty they feel that they feel betrayed or that you did them dirty because you've decided they feel like you've escaped them and it's like almost like they didn't even notice that they didn't even realize that that's what was happening <laughs> it's like you've been like getting further and further away from them while they've been thinking that the two of you are actually going to end up together one day it's really weird and now that they're realizing that you're done with them you're not waiting on them you're not planning to be you're not thinking like oh i'm gonna eventually be with them too they're they're they feel salty about this It's almost like somebody's going to be ready to like do the damn thing with you. And then they're going to realize, and they're going to be like, I don't want to want that in with you anymore. And they're going to be salty about it. Or that's, I don't know about it. Or that's, I don't know about it.